Hello River Landing, it is good to be back home. Every church I served as a pastor met in buildings that were constructed in the first half of the 20th century. There was no master plan. They just kept adding additional wings and they were connected usually by stairs. Making sacred space accessible to people who can't do stairs never crossed the minds of those who were designing these buildings. Maybe they thought those with physical limitations could be lowered through the ceiling. You would think that people of faith would lead the way in making religious space accessible, but no, it took the government and the ADA. I remember so well a listening session when our building committee was recommending updates to our church campus. Some of those updates included making our buildings fully accessible. After the presentation, one church member made the comment that we didn't need wheelchair ramps in the church because, well, we didn't have any members in wheelchairs who attended. The comment needed no response because what he didn't understand helped most everyone else understand. We don't typically see what is beyond our experience. Well, we did the updates and they weren't easy. And we began to see people in wheelchairs and people who used walkers. And those walkers later became rollators. I remember a young adult saying to me one Sunday that he saw an older member with a walker that had hand brakes. He said, how fast can she push that thing that she needs brakes? It's, if she's that fast, why does she need a walker? I mean, how could he know? I told him I thought that those were more like parking brakes than speed brakes, but understanding was not yet accessible to him. No experience. When we find God or love or joy inaccessible, it's usually because of the way our lives and minds have been structured, like a building. So much religion and politics these days is about fortifying barriers rather than opening doors. This can be changed, but it's difficult. So many holy heroes have done this in the past. May God give us the strength to do the same. Have a blessed week, my friends.